So we have a study for each participant. Blood sample were taken during sleep on two different nights using a special type of catheter. The first blood sample, which is our control, was drawn after a day of no strenuous activities. And the second was drawn after a day of strenuous activities. Because measurements are on the same men, the data is paired. Based on the data, test at a significance level of 0 0.05 that there is a significant difference between the control and the strenuous activities in hormone levels. So what we're going to do here is the following. I just want any difference between the two. So I'm testing that that mean difference is equal to zero versus, well, the alternative is that it's not zero. So let's calculate our differences. The way this is set up, we can take, you know, 13.6. My first difference is going to be 5.1. I have 2.1 here. I have 21.2 here. I have 0.6 here. 19.2 uh, minus 14.7. That gives me 4.5 here, and I have 3.7 here. If you were to add all these up, your summation of your differences is 37.2. Summation of the squared differences is 514.16. So from these calculations, you can get D bar, which is going to be 6.2, and you know, calculating your sample variance and then your sample standard deviation, you should get your deviation to be 7.5302. Okay, so we want to see if there's any difference. So here's my distribution. 0 0.05 is being broken up to here's 0 0.025 here, and here's 0 0.025 here. I have a two-tail test. So my T is just simply going to be 6.2 divided by my standard deviation, which is 7.5302 divided by the square root of 6. So this gives me a t of t.017. Now my degrees of freedom are going to be 6 minus 1 or 5. So with 5 degrees of freedom and a t of 2.017, we are going to see here that we do not fall in that critical region. So I am in the non-rejection region when, once you set up your critical regions for this test. So therefore, we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. Basically, there is no significant difference in uh, these two groups, the post-exercise and the control group.